one of the sport's most successful trainers in the 1990s. Bill Robinson is handling the pressure this week quite nicely. The experience he gained with Riyadh in 1993 has helped him immensely during this Triple Crown chase. With Riyadh, we had a pretty good shot. In fact, I thought we were probably going to have it done before we went in. But as it worked out, we didn't. Uh, it, was a real, it was a great race, probably the greatest race we're ever going to see in the jump. They were right at the wire, the three of them, and Campbell beat us. But uh, it was, uh, I'm a little more relaxed this time. Well, we're either going to get it or we're not. Western Dreamer has been a dream come true for Robinson. He enters the messenger confident with the knowledge his horse has answered every challenge that's come his way. It is a wild time, especially with this horse. We had, uh, it's been kind of a shock all year for him. And, uh, you know, we won the jug, we win the cane, and uh, here we go into the third one. So uh, we're very happy to win the jug. We thought that's all probably would have to do, but here we go again. Now we got to win this next one, so it never ends. Auto racing. All right, they're ready to go on the messenger. Here's Roger Houston with the call. Right up for the lead on the outside. It's perfect art to the front end. Noble ability gets away second. Down along the rail, Western Dreamer racing third. Arturo sits fourth, and here comes Mike Lachance. Western Dreamer set to the front end. Now second and moving up. Half the leader, perfect art. As the race over to the first quarter mark. Noble ability is third. Arturo fourth. Opening panel in 28 seconds. Arturo comes to the outside first over. Dream away. We'll get the trip second over. Three wide on the outside. Coffee three. End of the turn. Down along the rail, personal power and trimming the field. The big dog going to the halfway point. Western Dreamer with the lead by a length and a half. Racing second is perfect dark. They're by the half. 56 and 2. Second quarter, 28 and 2. Arturo, top first over third. Noble ability is fourth. Dream away, racing fifth. Six to half the rail, down the backside, personal power. Coming to the outside, Gothic Dream, trailing the field, the big dog. Go on to the three quarters, it's Western Dreamer on the front. Dream away, goes three wide, three quarters, one, 23 and three, 27 and one, backside, and Western Dreamer opens up. On the outside, Dream away, perfect dog. We're all standing here with a bit of goosebumps. Western Dreamer, Mike Lachance couldn't have driven any better. He bottomed out this field. He opened up. When they turned for home, he had daylight on the rest, and they could not catch him. Ken, I was a little bit concerned about the fact he didn't look all that great in his elimination, but Mike did that. what was necessary to get him to win. Adios Butler, Brett Hanover, Romeo Hanover, Rum Customer, Most Happy Fella, Nia Tross, Ralph Hanover. Now add the name of West. Western Dreamer, he is a triple crown champion. Fresh off his world champion, a world record, Miles in the little brown jug here. He uh, rated him in quarters of 28 and 56 and two, and then what we call bottomed out the field, just started to turn him on here and sprint off with the triple crown. Mike Lachance in full control here. Trainer Brett Robin, or Bill Robinson, I should say, said that Mike Lachance made this horse this year. He made him more aggressive. Also, the help of aluminum shoes turned this horse around. The first heat proved to be the tightener, and there is that uh, arm uh, gesticulation by uh, Mike Lachance. He is the triumphant driver here, and what a dream season, dream past two seasons for Mike Lachance. And there you see the happy connections. We just spoke to him a little bit earlier ago. Matt, Pat, and Dan Bailey, they have a triple crown winner in Western Dreamer. Congratulations. Full of leading driver in the sport this year. He's having a great 1997 season. John Campbell has won a little bit more money than Mike has this year, but 
I'll tell you, for Mike Lachance, 1997 has been a dream year, and certainly for a Western dreamer as well. Owned by Matthew, Patrick, and Daniel Daly of Hamilton, Ontario. They have a drywall construction business. They got into harness racing 15 years ago through their late father. Western dreamer, Western Hanover is his sire. In 1992, he tried to win the Triple Crown and could not do it. Right now, we're going to head to Ken Workington, who's somewhere in that crowd. Ken? Well, somewhere we have Mike Lachance. Uh, as we mentioned, a dream season for Mike Lachance and Western Dreamer. Tell us about the first heat and the fact that he was so sharp in the second heat, just like the Little Brown Jug. Well, the first heat, uh, he's, he's the kind of horse that he likes to be roughed up a little bit. And I tried to cut the slow fraction there. I, don't, I didn't want to use him too hard the first heat. And uh, I guess those fractions of the half there kind of put him to sleep there, so he just he didn't respond at the end. But I wasn't going to make the same uh, mistake the second heat there. And uh, he's the horse, he just likes to roll, and uh, he's, he's just a very strong animal. Now, uh, Bill Robinson said that you're the, you, the driver, Michael Chance, made this horse. Turned, you were more aggressive with him. How do you how do you respond to that? Well, I just, uh, I guess uh, Bill Robinson wanted to be nice uh, to me, but... Uh, no, really, uh, just the, the whole uh, crew around the Western Dreamer, they all did their job there. Bill Robinson, Nud Vardy, the, the groom there, they just uh, everybody did their job. Well, right here at this point, you're asking him for speed. You're kind of bottoming out the field, opening up. Are you worried at any point here? Not really, because uh, when, I, when I start to hit him there, he just went on, and uh, he just took off just like the jog. I noticed you didn't pop the earplugs here. Well, he's got no earplugs there on him. Oh, he no. didn't have the earplugs. Well, right no. here, coming to the wire, uh, you're going to give it that old, uh, what is that? The, well, it's just, I was so happy there because, uh, you know, like, it, it doesn't happen to, every day that you can win the Triple Crown. And uh, just like, uh, I'm, I'm very emotional about it. Looking forward to the Breeders' Crown as well. And he's a gelding. He's going to keep racing. Oh, yeah. I guess he's going to keep racing uh, through the winter there. But, you know, the, he's a gelding, like you said. What else can he do uh, other than racing? Okay, well, congratulations, Mike Lachance, Triple Crown winner here. And uh, let's go back to Gary. All right, we spoke to...